back when we were kids, Mom always said that we could play outside till the street lights came on. But what if there aren't any streets? What if there aren't any lights? Well, I suppose that means we can just keep on playing. But it might be helpful to have a set of these. Ooh, it says fragile. This is a KC Gravity Pro 6 light bar system made for a Jeep JL Wrangler or JT Gladiator. Now I say light bar loosely because unlike the boxy, blocky, Lego-like light bars that were all the rage a few years back, this light bar is made out of eight individual round lights that give it a timeless and classic look that I absolutely love. Essentially, they're linked together utilizing a unique hinge and bolt design that Casey refers to as their infinity ring system. And that allows you to install them as a straight bar, a curve bar, or something in between. Now, aside from having eight lights that put out an impressive 2300 lumens a piece, what really makes the Gravity Pro 6 so effective in lighting the way is that the two lights on either end of the light bar have a wide beam pattern, and then the four lights in the middle have a more focused driving beam. Together, that's 18,400 lumens of light that not only allow you to see almost a mile away, it'll be evenly distributed, usable light that reaches out into the periphery. So let's get this thing installed. The first thing we're gonna do is apply these rubber gaskets that come with the kit onto the back side of the light bar mounting brackets. Now you can easily identify which one goes where based on the bolt hole cutouts as you can see here. This one would apply here and this one would be applied here. But before I do anything, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the surface of the mounting brackets with some isopropyl alcohol as that'll help remove any residual oils or greases that might be on them and help promote better adhesion. Okay, so now we can take one of our gaskets and just peel back one of the corners just a bit and cut it. And then we can go ahead and start applying it. Okay, we can peel off the rest now. So now it's time to get our Gladiator ready for the installation of our light brackets. But I know there are a few of you who are wondering what happened to our snorkel? Well, for the kind of wheeling that we like to do, having a big set of off-road lights is way more important to us. Plus, we still own a Jeep JL Wrangler and it was more than happy to take it. 
Anyway, we're going to need to remove this cowl panel, but before I can do that, I'm going to use a 3 8 inch wrench to remove the antenna. Then, I'm going to use a Torx 40 bit to remove the four bolts securing the panel in place. On the driver's side, we just need to remove the two lower bolts. Okay, so now we can take off the cowl cover and then find the end on our wiring harness that's going to plug into the Gravity Pro 6. We're going to feed it through the cowl itself, up along the windshield, and try to position it approximately to where it'll plug in. From here, I'm going to take a little bit of blue painter's tape and just kind of hold it in place. And then we can go ahead and reinstall our cowl cover, making sure that the wire feeds through this gap as you see right there. And then we can secure the panel in place using just the two top bolts. Because the light mounting brackets will be pressing up against the A-pillar and the cowl, I'm gonna spend just a little bit of time cleaning it up. All right, so there are two more nuts that we need to remove before we can install the mounting brackets, and that's the windshield hinge nuts. And to get these guys off, we're gonna use a Torx T50 bit. All right, let's get this thing bolted up. Okay, so we're gonna to need to take a couple of these longer bolts with the washers and we're gonna to need to grab, let's see, which one do we need? Passenger side mounting bracket. So we can place the mounting bracket on top of the cowl and A pillar. And I'm just gonna loosely secure it in place using the, the hardware provided with the kit. Before we secure those in place, I'm going to make sure that this power cable, this wire, gets routed up behind the bracket itself. Okay. All right, let's see. Now I need to find the right windshield hinge bracket, which I believe is this one. And then I'm going to take two of these smaller screws and washers. And then we could place it on top and loosely secure it just hand tight right now. We need to give it some wiggle room. Okay. Although I don't see any blue Loctite on the factory threads, the instruction does call for a dab of it, so I'm gonna apply some right now. And then we can install the windshield nut. Okay. From here, we just need to tighten everything up. Okay, now we just need to repeat everything on the other side. get our Gravity Pro 6 light bar ready for installation. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take these nuts right here and just loosen them up. They're just hand tight anyway. And then we're going to take a six millimeter Allen wrench and we're going to loosen up the infinity ring bolt right here. 
Then we're going to take a 3 millimeter Allen wrench and loosen up this adjustment bolt as well. So what that allows is for this to be self-centering on the mounting bracket. Repeat on this side as well. Okay, so finally we're going to need to install the bump stop. So I'm going to have to grab the hardware. Looks like I'm going to need these two guys. Turn that over. Take off the nuts. At least the lock washer and washer. And then we're going to need to figure out how to orient this. I'm pretty sure it needs to go on like this. Place a washer on, a lock washer, and a nut, just hand tight for now. Leave it loose so we can make adjustments. Okay, I think we're good to go. But I think I'm going to need a step ladder and a packing blanket. Okay, so using a 13 millimeter socket, I'm going to just tighten this up just a bit just so that it holds itself in place and then we'll tighten up the other side as well. Okay, so now it's time to set the bump stop. And in order to do that, we actually need to give it just a bit of preload by pushing the whole light bar out just a little bit. Um, being that I like to do everything by myself, um, I'm going to go ahead and use a 2x4 with a rag just to help protect the window. And then a tennis ball just to kind of help hold things in place. That way I don't need a second set of hands to help me out here. Then we're going to set, set the bump stop so it's just pushing on the windshield header. And then we're going to use a 13 millimeter wrench and a socket to tighten everything in. With the bump stop set, that'll mitigate any vibrations or bouncing around of the light bar, especially when you're driving hard and fast in the desert. All right, we just need to wrap a few things up here. First and foremost, I'm going to go ahead and plug this guy in. Guy back here. Then we're going to take our three millimeter Allen wrench, tighten up this bolt that we loosened up earlier. And finally, we'll use a six millimeter Allen bit to tighten up this bolt to 100 inch pounds. Perfect. Repeat on the other side, and we'll be done. Oh, there's actually two more bolts that need to be tightened to 150 inch-pounds of torque. Okay. From here, the only thing that's left to be done is to wire everything up. And as you can see, Casey actually gives you everything that you need to make that possible, including a relay and a switch. But fortunately for me, I won't be needing any of it. I've got a Switch Pros, and that's what I'm going to be hooking mine up to. So for our purposes, the only wires that we're going to need is this white one and black one that you see right here. Okay. Shove this in here. Pull this out here. Let's strip these guys. Go ahead and attach a ring terminal to the ground wire. And we could take a butt connector to this one. Okay, so we want to use switch number seven on the switch pros, which means I need to find the two purple wires. Here's one. And 
here's the other. These two will need to be paired together. Finally, we just need to hook up the ground wire and we should be good to go. Okay. So even though we're working with eight lights that put out an impressive amount of light, each light only has about a 1.6 amp draw, which means across the board, we're only working with about 15 amps. So the Switch Pro system with the two wires paired together, that gives us a max draw of 35 amps, which means we're well within the range and we don't need a relay or anything else to make it work. So let's go test them out. When there aren't any streets around, or any lights to tell you to come home, that just means you can keep on playing. Or at least, so long as you have lights of your own. Casey's. <laughs> 